Hey, can you check my temperature? Yeah, actually, you feel a little hot. Do you think you have a fever? <sighs> Not unless you can have a fever for more than a hundred years. That's how long I've been feeling like this. But I've gotten even warmer in recent decades. Do you know why? Actually, well, this is awkward, but... But what? I didn't want to say anything, but it's actually because of you, son. How is that possible? I haven't been doing anything differently. You're right. It's not really your fault. It's a combination of things. It all started during the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s. That's when people first invented the technology for factories. These factories were fueled by coal, which released too much of this gas called carbon dioxide into the air. So, what does this have to do with your rising temperature? I'm getting there. Basically, carbon dioxide is released into a layer of air close to the Earth, called the atmosphere. Then, when you shine your light down on me, son, carbon dioxide traps the heat, which makes my temperature rise. The more fuel that we burn, the more carbon dioxide there is in the atmosphere, and the hotter my temperature gets. Oh, I see. Well, is that such a bad thing? Now people can spend more time at the beach. <sighs> sure, but even the slightest change in temperature throws off a delicate balance. It leads to more extreme weather, like droughts, storms, and wildfires, all of which can damage the homes of plants, animals, and people. It also contributes to pollution, basically dirty air, that makes it harder to breathe. Oh gosh, that's pretty bad. What can we do? I'm glad you asked. The best thing would be to learn more about climate change and global warming and to share what you know with your community. The more people understand, the better we'll be able to address these issues.